All right, in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to shop specifically for a snake plant. We're gonna be going over where you should be shopping, what to look for so that you bring home the healthiest snake plant possible that's gonna last you years and years of enjoyment for you in your own home. Before I go any further, I just wanna say if you want more houseplant care tips of how to buy them, what to look for, how to troubleshoot for them, how to keep them happy and healthy, I really recommend subscribing to my channel. I'm constantly posting new content to help you and your houseplants and I would really appreciate it. All right, so first things first, where can you go to buy a snake plant? In general, because snake plants are such a popular house plant, you can go to most any store. Right here, me and my family, we went to our local Lowe's. So you can find them at a lot of hardware stores. You can find them at Walmart, um, as well as like greenhouses or house plant specific stores in your area. Um, you can give them a call ahead of time, but in general, snake plants are something that they're always going to have in stock just because it's a very popular plant right now. Now snake plants do come in all sorts of sizes and with different types of variegation. So if you're looking for something very specific, I do encourage you to take time to phone your local plant store before you go ahead and head over there because you're not always gonna be guaranteed to find the exact one you're looking for. Even though I said they will probably have snake plants, it doesn't mean that they'll have the specific type you want. All right, so enough about stores. You're looking at a snake plant and you wanna know how you can tell if it's a good one or not. So number one thing, you want the pot that the snake plant is being held in to have drainage holes. This is key because snake plants are a little bit more of a desert plant. If they are overwatered, it can cause severe problems, it can cause it to die. So these drainage holes help excess water get out and will help there be less problems for your snake plant. Next, you're going to want to smell the soil, poke it, kind of play around with it just to make sure that there's no mold or anything that shouldn't be there growing. Um, I know it sounds silly to smell it, but if you smell something other than the natural kind of dirt smell, it could be a sign of an unseen mold or mildew growing down below in the pot. Um, and you don't want that because it's it's just gonna cause a shorter lifespan for your snake plant and cause problems later on. Um, all the ones here that we saw, their soil smelt fine. So I say I would say in general, um, their soil, if you're buying from a reputable place that's not overwatering them excessively, it should be just fine. All right, so once you've determined the soil is fine, you're gonna wanna really look closely for any sort of pests. Snake plants are especially prone to mealy bugs as seen here. Sorry that I have to show you these, they just gross me out. Um, but they're also prone to spider mites as seen here. Spider mites are very, very small despite this picture. Um, you can kind of see them by their webbing that they create around a plant. Um, so you can pull out your phone turn on the flashlight so that you can really see down in the crevices at the bottom of the snake plant and be looking for those mealy bugs or spider mites or any other pest. Um, if there are some, you can look for a different plant or you can wipe them off yourself. I would say just to be safe, look for a, a different plant um, so that you don't have to deal with these pests and you are introducing them to your other house plants that you have in your home if you do have any. Another thing to check with your snake plant before you buy it is check its leaves. They should be kind of stiff, um, not like incredibly rigid that they're gonna like snap into two, um, but they should not be soggy. They shouldn't be Oh, what's the word? They shouldn't be wrinkled. That's the word I was looking for. Um, wrinkled snake plant leaves show that means it's been underwatered. Um, and if it's too squishy, that means it has been overwatered and may have a fungal infection. Another thing to look for when you are shopping for a snake plant is look for little pups alongside the plant itself. Um, these things can later be propagated and they can create entirely new snake plants if you are wanting to venture down that route. Um, and it's kind of fun. So for ours, there are two um, that you can kind of see here in this video that at a later date, I will probably propagate and make more snake plants for myself. And lastly, just some more general tips. Skip out on any sort of snake plant that you see a lot of damage to. Um, when you're taking it home, you can put it inside of a box or put padding around it to kind of keep it from tipping. When we took ours home, we didn't use any sort of padding or anything and it was just fine. But if you are worried, you can certainly use padding to keep it upright. 
Lastly, um, you will want to have some sort of dish or container to catch the water that's coming out of your drainage holes. If you already have a pot for it to place it in, that's great. Or if you already have a plate, that's great too. We just bought one of these little plastic wands. I think it was less than a dollar. So yeah, not very expensive at all. And when you have brought your snake plant home, depending on how mo moist the soil is, you may not have to water it for a while. I know for us, we held off on watering it for a total of two weeks. The soil was already wet and it didn't need any more. So don't be afraid to just lay off watering. It will be just fine. Like I said before, a snake plant is more of a deserty plant and doesn't need a whole lot of water. I really do hope that this was helpful for you as you are out and about shopping for a snake plant or maybe you're thinking about going out and shopping for one. Um, let me know how it went. Comment if you have any questions regarding something maybe I didn't mention. I would love to answer your questions. And again, please consider subscribing. I am always coming out with great content to help you and your houseplants thrive.